In Shuba. Sukim Habi Yesh Batoira. There are many Sukim in the Toira. Ubadiba in the Vim and among in in the Novi, which is the prophets. Shahim Nir and Gisais and Ikazet. And they would seem to contradict this spe this point. Nir Sholom Ben Reva Odom. Let's go down and see. Uh, although we're starting a new parik, the Ramam is going to explain here what we discussed, the question of uh, choice. It would seem from the prophets that there is no, that it contradicts some of the concepts of choice, and also how can or how does the Akash uh, punish a Rosh? Sukim Habeish Batera. There are many words in the Torah and the Anavim that Shehem Nirin Kesoyis and Ikazed that would seem to be contradicting that which we learned in Perik K. Yimel and Dalad that there is choice for a person is to be righteous or, or wicked, and it's not something that's pre um, ordained. ordained at birth. People trip, and fail in understanding. These, the concept of this, of the psukim. Many people. And some people assume from what they hear, what they can comprehend from the post edicts on man to do good or bad. That a person doesn't have his heart is not his to be in control of. Uh, to make it uh, bend. In whichever way that he wants to have his heart bend. And now he, the Ramam says, I'm going to explain this great principle. That you should know from it the truth. Explanation of all those psukim. At a time when it, one individual or members of a nation sin, and the sinner does a sin with full knowledge, and with full desire, as we mentioned in, in Peric 5. It's correct to punish him. alone How to be punished is only in the hands of Hashem. There are sins for which a person is punished for his sin in this world, in his physical body, or in his. Uh, monetary matters. Oy, and his young, his young children, and just that they are punished, even though they are obviously underage. But that who do not have uh, maturity intellect, and didn't come to the point of mitzvah. Therefore, they considered his acquisitions or just anything as anything else that a person has. Therefore, they're punished when Loyola knows how many children die. In a sense, they punish the person. What it says in Melochim, that a person dies on his own sins and not on the sins of someone else. That means that from the point of being a mature adult, that is when he is on his own. That's why Rabbi Mitzvah, they actually make a brocha, because technically it has two meanings to it. A, that the that I, I shouldn't be liable for what my son does. At the same time, the son should not be liable because of my, my failings. And there are sins that a person is punished in his physical being. 
and uh, we, none of the commentaries cite where this is taken from because it would be itself evident because the, sin, the body sinned, therefore it's punished or with his money. This is found in Sochem, Kuf Yudches 118a, as it says in Tilim. That he punishes a person for his goodness. In other words, for the benefit of the person that he shouldn't lose everything. Which means loses his plowing or ox. Only the seyoy, a poor man with his sheep from which he gets the wool. He also invades also an orphan with his egg from the chickens, the Almon of the Tanagalisera, and the widow with the loss of her uh, chicken. And as she explains, I could uh, in his ends takes away from the person his material wealth so that he should be atoned for his for his physical being. Avoizamelach says to Yushalmi when it comes to the world a person is finds himself stumbling over sins and he's and he's liable for miso the shaman and ever his his ox dies or his slave or his birds his chickens and or his ribs break or he's his finger is hurt and the the reckoning is made le- is lessened because from this he is atoned from uh, death to the shemayim and the the psikto of Kahano and other midrasha because the mishnah makes a difference between chorus the miso chorus means being cut off the death be the shemayim there is de- physical death that Besden portions out. There is something, uh, a chorus, for example, somebody who eats hummus uh, on Pesach. There is also, there is also Misa Vede Shemayim, somebody eats Trumo, when he's not allowed to eat Trumo. There are different categories. Misa Vede Shemayim is different than Kuretz. Misa Vede Shemayim is, death comes into his windows and his his livestock dies his cow uh, past, pastures and fields which cause her to die his chickens uh, peck away in garbage which cause them to die however some is high chorus he and his seed are cut off this is found in Rabbeinu Yoyna where the Ram writes that a person's is punished but with his small children that's found in Shabbos 32b and other in other places as well from the page there are more or a time ratio of hey surveys writes that someone who suddenly becomes our mitzvah and make a bro- should make a brocha without Hashem or the Kano Melech Shem is, is, is Hashem, and Elkeinu Melech Ha'olam is Malchus. Bor Shebatrani Me'oyin Shishuzeh. Blessed is he who has removed from me the punishment of this young man now. So the Morgan Avram says, because until now the father was punished when his son sinned, because he didn't teach him, and therefore and he brings the, the Lavush explains it the exact opposite. Until now, the son was being punished because of the sins of the father. According to the second uh, explanation, the broche is that we make a blessing that Hashem has brought me to the point where my son doesn't have to be punished with this that I do sin. Abi Megodim asks a question. According to the Lavush, the father should make a bracha even for his female children when they become bas mitzvah, 12 years old, on one day. When they enter the 13th year, his boys are bas mitzvah when they enter the 14th year. They should say, 
because he has a shalom and the punishment is punished with the dying is children dying it doesn't matter whether they're male or female now that she has become a an adult therefore she won't die as a shalom because of the parents sins so the Prairie Megadam explains since, since there are those who marry off their daughters when they are children and uh, therefore uh, he she, technically she goes out of the domain of the father to the domain of the husband and therefore there's a way for the father to get out of punishing his daughters by getting them married off therefore he doesn't make a brocha why do they marry off the daughters at a young age they used to die very young as well if the person saw he wasn't in good health he was afraid his, his daughter would not have who to bring her up so he would marry her off and that way she would be assured continuity of existence and he adds that it could be that a son is not punished for the sins of his mother because it says in Shmois, Pregit Oven of his Albonin, we find the fathers mentioned with regard to the children. We don't mention that, we don't see the mothers mentioned. The previous sons, closing with the Rebbe, asked the question even according to the Morgan Avram, why shouldn't a father make a brocha on his daughter when she becomes 12 years old in one day? That meaning that uh, just as one one translation of this blessing is that the father is not punished for not teaching or, or giving chinuch to his sons same should apply to not giving chinuch to his daughters and he answers according to the Magen Avram the main brocha is that he finished the chiv of the father teaches son Torah and that's only by a son because that's the main chinuch I want the child to learn Torah then he knows how to act from the Torah. And there's a young ladies at one point did not have Beis Yaakov, and they didn't have where to learn from. Agoz Minyaman asks on the Pimigodim that we find in Subis that a woman is punished with her children's death because if for a sin that she swears. So we do find, even though in the post it only mentions fathers, that there is, there are times when children die because of the sins of their parents. This does not mean that whenever a child dies it's because of the sins of the parents again. We have no way of reckoning what was supposed to be the lifespan of someone. And uh, we have to accept that which our Kodesh Bible gives us. But it doesn't hurt to do tshuva anyway. Agoz ben Eben Yomen brings down from Sefer Alakutim. She ainoi is brought down from Sefer Alakutim. That he doesn't know the source that uh, what the Ramam writes that his children die because they are his assets. He also asks questions from Erechen. Erechen is where they talk about the value of somebody who says, I vow my value to the Beis Amikdash. And it would seem over there, they uh, we see that his children are not considered part of his assets. And the Raman brings this down in Bergvov, Avalov, Nagos Yeshua's Molkoi, Abishula, Abishio, the Kutna, and the Ragachava going both cite that the source of this statement is found in Hilchas Avodizora, Peregdala Alohovov. And then Irani Dachas, a city that the majority of the people I committed the Aveira of idol worship, worshiping idols, is everyone that is there is is killed, including the children, even though they themselves did not serve idols. And even when And even if the children did serve idols, but they don't know what they're doing, we see that but with this regard, since we have to kill every person and all that's in the Yanidachas, we see 
that they are considered assets of the parents. And we find this in Tonner Bela Yo Rabo on the post of Yudea Tzadik Nevish Bahamtoi that a person knows his animal's uh, needs, that a person watches himself not to become too sin. And he says, I, I, woe is to me if I sin because then my children will die in my because of me and my sins. The airport says, Your day at Sadik Nefesh Behemtor, meaning that he knows that what is taken uh, from him, Nefesh, means the soul, the spirit, the life. And therefore, his children is, is part of his life, and he loses that Kenyan of having an association, a very unique association, which we should have with the children for 120 years. Together in, in, in health. The Bnei Ben Yomon Avodas Melech on the Rambam say Ish Becheto Yomos explain that this is only Gedolim adults and incites the Sefri Ish Becheto Yomos Gedolim Meisim Ba'avoyin Atzma Gedolim die in their own sins and Tanim die in the sins of their fathers. We'll turn the page. Ramam continues. How how does he punish? There are some sins which a person is punished in only the future after death. and then only then. The of Shum We don't find that he has any punishment in this world. And, and, and as he mentioned earlier in Paragimel, that there are those people who are given in this world all that they need in order that they should not receive anything in the world to come. And there are sins that a person is punished both in this world and in the world to come as well. And it says in Yishalmi, Peyo. Four things a person is punished in this world and Karen Kayemis, we usually use this as far as the of the basis we say every morning a person receives reward in in this world and the world to come. Here we're talking about four items which a person is punished in this world and, and the principle, even though he's punished, does not diminish and he's punished again in the world to come. And the Raman writes in those days, Perkzain Aloha Gimel, Amurachom, the Rahom said three of Avis are punished in this world and he has no portion for the world to come. And the fourth one is Loshan Hora, which is the fourth item which a person could be punished not only in the world to come but in this world also. We have to be very, very careful about it.